Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Julia and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a bunch of hairstyles for like medium length hair. And if you've been watching my YouTube channel recently, you'll know that I have it posted in literally three months, which has not been good. I've been procrastinating, but I really wanted to film another one. And you'd also know that I cut my hair. It used to be like decently long. And I also changed a filming spot used to be at my window over there and now it's here so without further ado let's get on to the hairstyles i just wanted to say that literally everybody's hair looks different in like different hairstyles like i've seen a bunch of those girls on pinterest with like super volumized hair that looks really poofy and nice in braids and it just gives like that cottage core picnic girl full look but my hair is like pretty thin and flat like on the sides if you part it like that way you can like see the scalp so i specifically picked kind of hairstyles that would fit my hair texture so if you have similar hair texture or if you don't you, could, you should keep watching this video and the ingredients that i will be using are a brush this is embarrassingly dirty so we're just gonna pretend it's not and like a little spray bottle i got this from the dollar store like two years ago and i use it to water my plant yeah it's not very necessary like you don't need it you could just like put some water in your hair or you don't really need it at all you can also use gel or hairspray but i don't really use either of those okay for the first hair look um i part my hair down the middle it doesn't have to be like perfect but i feel like there's more even amount of hair if you part it down the middle and it just looks more identical it just makes me feel better you can do either way i've recently discovered kind of like the twist method if you've ever heard of that i'm gonna show you guys but it's like an easier way of getting kind of a braided effect but not like a braid a twist but it's super simple so i'm just gonna part my hair down the back take a section of hair twist it Take another section, add it to the twist, and then twist it again. And then you kind of just keep twisting. If I look over there, it's because of a mirror there. You kind of just keep twisting and collecting hair. Make sure the back is kind of like flat and you're not getting any bumps. And then it gives like a kind of twisted effect. Effect. You can't really see it super well on camera because I have black hair. And then you can just it off at the end like so and then it gives you a pigtail and you can do the other side and get like these twisted pigtails and you can do like that type of twist or you can separate the twist into two sections and that'll give it more of a rope effect so here's this one and I'm gonna show you guys kind of the twisted effect so Take your section, a small section from the front, and then take two, split it into two, and then twist them, take a section close to your face and add hair, twist it, add hair, and then just continue like that and it'll give you a more like defined rope. You kind of just keep on twisting until you get to the bottom and you can definitely see the more kind of defined rope effect. So I can just put a ponytail or you can even braid it to the end. I like putting a little pigtail. You have a little pigtail, which is super cute. And then you can repeat it on the other side. And I, when I cut my hair, I literally left, like cut these two pieces shorter because that would give me some face framing. But honestly, it looks so stupid. So we kind of just ignore that most of the time. You can leave some like front sections to give a little bit of a face frame as well. So I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side. And then you can go in and kind of like fluff it up a little bit, but I don't like doing that too much because it kind of just loosens it. And then it kind of like looks kind of messy, which if you've seen like those girls on like TikTok or whatever, and they put their buns so loose that it looks like it's about to fall off. I honestly hate how that feels on my head because it just feels like it's gonna fall out and I just don't like that. But personal preference, kind of just give it some sorting. And this is kind of how it finally looks. 
This hairstyle gives me very much I'm the popular third grader going to school and my mom just braided my hair, but also provides countless opportunities such as an emo teenager trying out new hairstyles or a country girl prancing through the wildflower fields of her farmhouse homeland. The possibilities are endless. And I literally did this in like less than four minutes. It's super easy and it takes a lot less time than like a French braid or a Dutch braid in my opinion, because whenever I do those, I tend to mess up. For the next hairstyle, you're gonna need to know how to French braid or Dutch braid, either kind of works. Just to give it a little bit more like variety, I'm gonna braid it straight over here, straight down and like a half up, half down because I did the twists kind of like this way. So for this one, some people braid it like this. I honestly can't do that. I like braiding it still like this. Just keep it as straight to the head as possible. And doing this takes a little bit of practice and patience if you're new to the braiding industry but just three parts and the more even your parts are the more you'll be able to braid all the way down you don't want them to be super uneven or it'll just look a little bit strange and then bring your that's my left hand as high as possible to make kind of that vertical look and then just french braid adding small pieces at a time all the way kind of straight back and for the look I'm going for I'm trying not to take hair from like down here but like just this section right here so that it'll kind of be like a neat row I don't know if that makes sense I hope it does And it'll start to look like this and since I'm doing not doing it all the way down when I get to like the crown of my head I'm about there right now at the final section and just braid it directly downwards making sure not to touch too much to this side so that it can lay flat I'm really fast Braiders. I'm just gonna braid it all the way down. Just borrowed the black ones from my sister because they blend in with my hair better. I have the rainbow runs, which look a little bit tacky on my hair, honestly, because they're kind of like clear rainbow. So once you do that, it should lay kind of flat backwards and just repeat it on your right side. Okay, this one again didn't turn out perfect definitely a little bit actually a lot messed up but we're just gonna ignore that nobody's gonna see the top of our head too much either but generally just super cute and it's also a really cool hairstyle if you want your hair down you can just put some of these like braids and it's just gonna give it a little bit more complexity and just look super cute and additional to just these two braids back you can also do dutch if you want to and you can also put these in little buns and bobby pin. You can also just use a little hairband to do this. And just secure those little buns. And I think braided buns look super, super cool. And it's a little bit more textured and it stays a little bit more put than normal buns because it has more grip and if you don't like braided buns you can just end the braid in a ponytail and just do a bun with your unbraided hair and i forgot to do this but you can also fan your braids to give it a little bit more volume before you uh twist them into a bun that'll just give you these two little buns so definitely a little bit not not perfect cousins not twins or sisters but yeah, they're definitely a little bit ratchet. They're just super cute little nuggets. Um, I don't know what people call them these days. Um, what is it, space buns? Yeah, space buns. And they're just really cute. I think the braids make them look a little bit more put together. That was my knuckle cracking. Little PSA, PSA? I don't even know what PSA means. I look like, a lion and I just lost like 
20 hair right here when I was trying to take those out. But moving on to the next hairstyle, I feel like for kind of medium length hair, it looks really cute, like a half up kind of hairstyle. So I have a few more of these. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to go for like a hold back kind of look. And you can really do this with normal pieces of hair. You don't really have to do anything. Just take these two sections and kind of pull them back. But for my hair, specifically like black hair, it doesn't really look like anything because it's not enough texture to the sections. So you can braid it or fishtail it or do a really a lot of things. So I'm just gonna give an example of this. Just using a four strand braid. And if you don't know how to do a four strand braid, definitely a tutorial somewhere. But it's basically a normal braid but with four strands take your four strands it's kind of complex to understand just off the bat your four strands take your um outermost strand and cross it over and then cross it over with the next and then cross it over with the next I'm not very good at explaining but it should end up here after crossing over all of them and then your new outermost section crosses all of these. It's a little bit hard to grip and learn how to do, but once you learn how to do it, kind of get the hang of it, and it ends up looking super cool. While you're braiding, kind of braid towards the back or the area that you're going to later kind of pin it towards, because then it'll flow nicely. It'll lay nicely on the head when you pin it, this one I don't really need to braid super far down. So, in order to pin it back, just take a little rubber band. Voila. And repeat on the other side. And there it is, the four strand braids look like this, pretty cool, and then just take your two sections, bring them together in the back, and you can either bobby pin or just ponytail these two together. I'm just going to use a band, I just think it's more secure. And you can tie it looser or um tighter depending on how loose or tight you want these to lay you can take the time to do sectioning a little bit better than i did as you can see there's a little bit of scalp showing but overall it'll give kind of this effect and it's super cute kind of like a little like, halo surrounding your head and the rest is down so if you like wearing your hair down again this is a nice hairstyle for you this next hairstyle is super easy. I'm, my hair is just getting poofier over here as we go, but this next hairstyle is super easy. Basically, anyone who knows how to braid can do it. And if you don't know how to braid, at, go learn it. It's really simple and it's just a really helpful tool to, to know in life. So essentially, take a section towards like the middle. Don't do it at the very uh, front of your head and make sure it's large enough to be able to see properly, but not too large. So this one should be good. And literally just braid it. And this hairstyle was on my sister's video as well. She also did a hairstyles video. Um, she also has a YouTube channel, so go check it out at Angela Pong. So that's how it should look, kind of laying flat and do it on the opposite side as well. And you can do a couple of these if you want to make them smaller. Okay, once you finish braiding, kind of in your hair, it should look something like this. And it's kind of like a subtle hairstyle, 
like you wouldn't even really see it from a longer distance especially if your hair is black like mine but it's just kind of a cute way to spice up your hair down look and you can even just take it and then like put it in pigtails and then you just have like a braid going through which is so cool or put it in little buns or anything like that so there's this super easy it's almost like a tip instead of the hairstyle but it's really cute the next one is kind of another down the middle two section hairstyle and just take both sides of your hair and instead of a pigtail we're gonna do a fishtail if you don't know what a fishtail is you can easily find a tutorial on YouTube and see what that looks like or just search it up but I'm just gonna give you a short rundown two sections and from the back of one section take a chunk cross it over the section that you took it from into the other section and then same thing take a chunk cross it over and add it to the other section I know it's not only me but in like fifth grade or technically all throughout elementary me and my friends would have like hair trains and then the teacher would be like girls this is not a hair salon and then we would stop doing it but we'd do it the next day I just realized this but in like third grade we literally had like a hair salon during our indoor recesses and we took orders and everything and like the workers had different jobs depending on what we could do and I'm pretty sure the teacher told us to stop it and I don't even know why like it's literally recess but <laughs> and for this one it's kind of hard to braid all the way down because there's not a lot of hair you can do but that's okay because you don't really have to braid all the way down it looks super cool just like this Make sure you tie it nice and tight, and then you can like pancake it. Just repeat the same thing with the other side. Also, for a fishtail, the smaller the section you put over, like you take from the larger two sections and you put over, then the more like detailed the fishtail is going to be, but the longer it's going to take. So if you take like a longer set, a uh, bigger, not longer. If you take a bigger section, then it's going to take less time to complete. And this is how it kind of ended up looking. Just these little bit too fishtail braids. These are a little bit, a little bit messy. That's okay. And you can kind of arrange it how you want to. And it'll look, I love my brush. And it'll look kind of like this. It's super cute. Next, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different like ponytail variations because there's a bunch of things you can do with the ponytail to make it more interesting, I guess. The first thing you can do is literally really just take a section on the side, braid it, and then put it into a ponytail at the back. So I'll show you what that looks like. Do the other side as well. Okay, so next, it looks very wonky because they braided it towards the um, side of the ponytail. But just take these out and brush these into the ponytail of height and everything that you want your ponytail to be. You want it to be right here and then just take these and add it to your ponytail. And this, it just gives a little bit more jazz to the ponytail. I'm just going to demonstrate these next few ponytail tricks with pigtails so you guys can see a little bit better from the front. And another thing that you can do is go full on jasmine with the bubble pigtails. So just put it wherever you want. So jazz here or here and then you can just put one more at the bottom and make sure this one's nice and tight because we're going to be pulling these so pull it to make a nice little bubble 
make this as big as you want. I'm not gonna make mine super big because I don't really have enough hair at the end to pull out of. And it should end up like these little cute bubbles and do that to both pigtails. I think this looks super cute as pigtails like Jasmine did in the movie. But you can also do it with like a high ponytail. it to how you like it so these are this hairstyle and the last hairstyle kind of ponytail tack i have for you guys also super simple just put your hair up in a high ponytail or does it really have to be high don't really need water so we're just gonna spray some water just to make it look a little bit more sleek and braid it back. So I'm just gonna do an easy three string braid. Just braid into three. Again, make sure you don't braid to the side or anything. Make sure you braid directly back so that it'll be straight back and look nice and neat when you're done. And then it gives you like a kind of braided ponytail, which is cool. It looks a little bit strange, but no, it, it's kind of cool. You can bring this in to a bun. And it's super secure when you like braid your ponytail before you put it in a bun. That's my last kind of hairstyle for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be trying to upload every Saturday and I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching and I would really, really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.